Hi, I'm Nick Van Vliet from Owen Scassily Real Estate. Another episode of Local Life. This one's in McLaren Flat, although that's debatable. I'm with Mark Haswell from Haswell and Lightfoot. G'day, Mark. How are you going? Hello, welcome to uh, our cellar door, Nick. Fantastic. Now, it's 301 Fogo Road. Well, we say McLaren Flat technically because we're on the Fogo Road, which is a divider between the Vale and the Flat. So we've got the vineyard is in the Vale, technically the uh, cellar door is in the Flat. So we go either way, but we think so, the Vale, more people know that around the country, so we, we use that address. Definitely. Now, what's your elevator statement? Uh, okay, our cat's cry or elevator statement is, ooh, wine's made for eating. We, uh, we believe um, wine should be drunk responsibly and uh, what better way than to have some food with it all the way through. And different wines, different food. And there's a load of choice for restaurants. It's a marvellous area. Now, tell me, why did you choose this area to set business up in? Well, Nick, that's a little bit of a story. It was uh, actually 30 years ago when we began here and I was down having a barbecue with an old mate of mine, Peter Kimber, from friends at McLaren Vale, and we took a little walk uh, after, after lunch, as you do, and uh, we spied some empty land there. So I asked Peter whether this bloke might sell or not, and uh, he said he didn't know. Anyway, a week later, we went knocking on his door and uh, said, do you want to sell? And he said no, which was a bit of a disappointment to us because we'd planned on what we were going to do with that whole property. Anyway, he invited us in for a drink and his drink of the day was Moselle and lemonade. <laughs> anyway we kept going back for several months but at this stage we took our own wine and we convinced him to sell and move off so that's how we got into McLaren Vale. Wow you talked me out of a job but perseverance <laughs> pays. <laughs> it certainly does. <laughs> and uh, you're really an ambassador for the area so when tourists come and they ask look what's a really cool thing to see in the area what do you suggest? Well you can't go past the cube can you that's internationally uh, a famous icon already in such a short time and ten dollars to go in value for money if you did that overseas you'd just be going wow I mean the view from the top of that is stunning and they just has done a fantastic job they'd be congratulated and they bring a lot of people into the area. Mm, certainly so there you go Hastwell and Lightfoot I've tasted your wines they're absolutely fabulous and tell me a little more um, about the varieties, and you grow all of the grapes but one. Yeah, Nick, uh, we, we grow all our own fruit except uh, the Pinot Grigio, and we don't have that, but we source that from uh, Mount Compass, so we sort of keep it quite local, and that's because our Sydney and Melbourne agents wanted one, not because we wanted to grow one. But we certainly have a range uh, of grains from, from the normal Shiraz um, and the Cabernet through to it's more exotic, the Fianos, Vermentinos, uh, Montepichanos and uh, Barberas, Tempranillo. So we've got quite a range now. So people should come down and try some of those wines. Just something different than the straight Cabernet and uh, Shiraz. You certainly pronounce those varieties way better than, <laughs> <laughs> than I can. So there you go, Haswell and Lightfoot, 301 Fogo Road, McLaren Vale. Love to see you there. You're going to love it.